Well, I think I have earned myself some personal time today. Let's see what's on OnlyFans. You got a cooking show with Riley Reed and Vanessa Myers. Could be spicy. This is fire. Hmm, could be good. This is fire. I think I've made my decision. Might as well check this out. Two worthy finalists battling to see who will take home the grand prize of $20,000. All right, Miss Reed, show us what you got. That's right, I found out none of you bums told me OnlyFans has a cooking show. If I had known OnlyFans had a cooking show, I would have done a video about the OnlyFans cooking show much sooner. Thank God we have found it. We have found the OnlyFans cooking show. We can actually watch it. It is available on OnlyFans. Hey, OnlyFans creators will go head to head. As crazy as that sounds. Now look, every time I try to talk about something inappropriate, YouTube always red flags my videos and they'll get taken down for one reason or another. So today we're going to talk about OnlyFans. Yes, I knew it! This episode features Violet Myers and Riley Reed, who you may know from... Porn. From porn. Who you may know from porn. I have come so far, and I plan to keep coming and coming until I win. Riley Reed's already won this show, apparently, so she's the returning champion. Violet Myers is going to give her a run for her money. I am here to win again. Let's go. I don't know how we got there. I don't know where we came from, but I'm going to show you where we're going. I'm actually really excited. What they will be cooking is a tomahawk steak. Today we are cooking Wagyu tomahawks. 48 ounces of mean, fatty, juicy meat. A very large tomahawk steak. No easy task, let me tell you. Cooking a steak, feeding yourself, no easy task whatsoever. Thank God we've got porn stars to show us how to do it. You have 45 minutes. Take your time. Breathe. This is a beautiful piece of meat. Let's investigate to see whether these porn stars can cook a tomahawk steak. This is the championship round. I'm actually shitting myself right now. I think you can predict how this is gonna go. I can't wait. I'm ready. Let's do this. Of course, we're gonna be joined by Chef Jojo as well. He's a staple to the series from what I understand. You guys are on your own cooking to become champion of This Is Fire. Maybe. Now let's join Riley and Violet as they begin to cook this tomahawk steak. <laughs> there she goes, washing her hands, kitchen etiquette. My guess is Riley Reed washes her hands eight times a day minimum. I'm thinking to just try to drown it for, with as much seasoning yes. and maybe sear it a little and then put it in the oven. Perfect. When I saw that meat, I was like, fuck, it's going to need a lot of herbs. It's going to need a lot of fucking seasoning. And I was just like rubbing it in, trying to get it in there, salting it everywhere. I was very eager to make sure I can get this flavorful as much as possible. I think one of the biggest questions that comes to mind first is why? Why are these actresses doing this cooking show? show. Why did Riley and Violet decide to go on this show? Riley Reed has more than enough money. I think your uh, personal chef will be very pleased to see you cooking a beautiful piece of meat like this. She could probably just retire and be fine. So why is she doing this show? This random cooking show for OnlyFans? This I don't understand. Was it for the exposure? Because I don't think anybody's watched this show. Chef Violet is taking garlic right now, confiting it, wrapping it in Foil. The big question is why? The prize is only like 20 grand. I, I'd figure both of these women could earn that like in a week. I feel like that's nothing to these women. I have no idea why they did this show. Why, why even bother? Just know that you guys are winners in my book and I'm proud of you guys, but there only can be one winner today. Now the second question that comes to my mind is do either of these people know how to cook? Have you ever cooked a tomahawk before, chef? Never, I didn't even know what that was. Like when I go to restaurants, like I don't order steak, so like. I genuinely don't know. Probably, right? They gotta be able to cook something, I assume. Oh, I burned that, okay. I'll use this one. But do they know how to cook well enough to justify building a show around it? You kinda got me there. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to answer that question. Wait, wait. Like... What was I supposed to do? Oh, the temperature. Oh yeah. I don't think there's gonna be much learning to be done by the audience. So I don't necessarily get why the audience would be watching in the first place. Okay, I just, it's like putting it in the butt or something. Sure, pull this out. Oh, okay, I knew that. But who knows, who knows? Maybe I'll be proved wrong. I don't mind being proved wrong. Double check your salt content on that, Chef. I put almost my whole little bowl of salt, so I'm really hoping I didn't make it too salty. The trash talk. 
is terrible. I'm trying to like throw fighting words. I'm trying to make some tension in the kitchen. She was like so nice. I was like, girl, you're not making this fun. They don't say a single mean word to each other, which is fine. But there's like no tension whatsoever going on. You should be more mean. No, no, I'm not, I don't have a mean bone in me. So it's like not a tense process whatsoever. Everybody seems so friendly to each other. There is zero tension in this kitchen. Riley Reid is such a legend. The fact that I'm even in the kitchen with her, like it's, I'm already a winner to be honest. And this other girl is just so humbled to be working with Riley Reed. I'm sure everybody loves working with Riley Reed. Damn, I wish I could work with Riley Reed. You know what I'm doing. Now, I chose the steak episode because I figured there would be plenty of opportunities to make jokes about a thick cut of meat. It looked so intimidating. That's like a thick piece of meat. Come on, do I even need to make that joke? I think your uh, personal chef will be very pleased to see you cooking a beautiful piece of meat like this. If there's anyone who knows a beautiful piece of meat, I'm sure it's Riley Reed. The other dish that they're going to be making to complement this tomahawk steak is a twice-baked potato. Complimenting our majestic tomahawk, we present the twice-baked potato. I don't know if that's the most complicated thing they could have chosen. I genuinely never gone through that process myself. I'm adding extra cheddar to my baked potato because I want that extra cheddar. I can say now I've made a tomahawk steak. Oh, that is true. That's sexy. Yes. <laughs> That's what's cool about the show, you know, is it, showcasing everything in a different limelight. You know, you guys are, are, are very talented human beings. and Yeah, I like this because, like, when I'm doing my type of content and I'm following a script, I'm just, like, some dumb bitch who can't, like, read a pregnancy test or I get stuck in the dryer. Her type of content being porn does write those scripts. Who's writing the drier scripts? I'm very curious about that. It's a very interesting fantasy to have. Certainly, certainly interesting. Ah, there's a fire! Oh shit. I did not intend for some flames to be coming up like this. I'm, I'm sorry, you, you didn't think the grill was gonna have flames? What did you think it would do? What did you think the grill was gonna do? I thought you won this show. I thought you were the returning champion. Riley, come on, what the fuck are you doing out there? Get your shit together. I need to get rid of this bone. Yeah, no, 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 keep the bone. It's intimidating. It is intimidating, it's intimidating. Now, that's definitely not the first time you've been intimidated by a bone. Chef Riley, talk to me about your twice baked potato. Oh, I like doused it with butter because I love my butter. Her potato looks absolutely nothing like that beautiful rendition Chef Jojo showed us earlier. She just cut it in half and threw some butter on there. What the hell even is that? Oh. Guys, we are at 15 minutes. What's the temperature? Okay. It's supposed to be like one something. 125. Returning champion of a cooking show and you don't know what temperature beef needs to be. Come on, Miss Reed, what are we doing? What are we doing? Do we have chives? Chives? I think they're over here. Okay. Were those even chives? What's she been grilling the whole time? I thought that was spring onion. Like we gotta, we gotta Google what a chive looks like. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I don't think that was a chive. I think that was a spring onion. That looked much more like a spring onion to me. Does she not know the difference between a chive and a spring onion? They're at a cooking show. Why didn't they like get the, the OnlyFans models who like cooking, who are like into this sort of thing? Why, why get like, uh, why get people who don't know how to cook? That's a spring onion, that's not a chive. Oh, Chef Riley is hitting her bacon bits right now. Garnishing again with a little bit more. It looks phenomenal. Yeah, I don't know about phenomenal. It looks edible, certainly. It looks edible. Definitely edible. Phenomenal. Now, that's a little bit of a stretch. Edible covers that. Covers all the bases. It's edible. My heart is racing so fast right now. Just thinking about that $20,000. All right, you know what? That's it. I'm looking up the net worths. We got to look up the net worths. Hold on, hold on. Let's look this up. This is just from some random website. It's estimating Violet Myers has a net worth of about one and a half million. Now let's see Riley Reed. So from what I'm seeing, it looks like Riley Reed has about 19 million in assets and cash. Again, I don't think 20,000 is going to make that big a debt for Riley Reed. I feel like she could make a lot more than that uh, doing anything else other than cooking. They must have paid her to be on the show too. 20,000 is just not enough. That's like, I mean, Mr. Beast gives out like... I mean, fuck. Yeah, 20000 is definitely not enough to win a cooking show, in my opinion. The prize pool is very small, especially when you consider the contestant's net worth. Coming down to the wire, we are under five minutes. All I can think about is making this dish look just as good as it tastes, and I'm struggling to find the right plate for this steak. Personally, I don't think the plate is going to be the issue. Let's go. One minute on the clock. Ah! Cut that butcher twine off that steak. 
Okay. Oh, oh, wait, we have to cut that stuff off? Chef Jojo is like, you need to cut the butcher twine. And I was like, with this massive ass knife? I'm not able to get the proper measurement of temperature on my steak. Two, ah! one, go! <laughs> I love that they both just started tossing entire vegetables on the plate next to the steak. Like it's garnish or sides or something. Good job, guys. Good job. Chef, are you ready for me to try this? I would love for you to try my dish, Chef. Chef, are you ready for me to try this? Yes, I am. Let's eat. feel that you have accomplished so much on this plate that I need to know what is going on. Talk to me what you did with your tomahawk. What do you mean talk to you about what you did with your tomahawk? She's been talking to you the entire time. You explained the process to her. The fuck is this show? Herbs with the thyme and the rosemary. Wow. That steak's not rare, that's raw. That looks nothing like the one Chef Jojo cooked earlier. When Chef Jojo cuts the steak open, I kind of started to panic and I was worried that my meat was undercooked. That looks like a raw steak to me. Not rare. Maybe it's like the line between rare and raw or just extremely rare. But that does not look like a healthy steak to eat. I don't know if I'd eat that steak unless I was like the liver king or something. Does it look like it's not cooked? That's rare. That's rare. That's rare. Is that, is that, that looks great. I'm gonna, I can't wait to try it. It kind of looks like he doesn't want to try this steak. And I wouldn't either. That, that looks great. I'm gonna, I can't wait to try it. Talk to me about your baked potato because I'm about to combine both of them right now. My Honestly. baked potato, I try to mash it up on the inside a bit. I put the uh, cheddar cheese and I put a shit ton of butter in there. I can tell it's really good. <laughs> I love butter good personally. Mm -hmm. So I definitely wanted to add a lot of butter and I put just like a little bit of like rosemary to add a little of rosemary flavor. Again, you were with her the whole time she was cooking it. Now, moment of truth. When I see Chef Jojo close his eyes chewing, I was like, he either hates it or he fucking loves it so much. Chef, talk to me about your tomahawk. I smeared it in butter, salt, onion, used some of that garlic. But I also feel really confident in my dish, so I'm like a mix of emotions. It looks good. It looks very good, Chef. Good. Her steak still looks raw. The other steak looks raw too. Neither steak looks like it's cooked. What the hell is happening right now? This is supposed to be like the championship. Why did neither of them cook their steak? There's no char on the outside either. I carved out the potato. So okay. I added sour cream, I added butter, heavy cream, a bunch of seasoning. I added some of the bacon inside so it has still that bacon fat in the mashed potatoes. I will say, Violet's potato does look a lot better than Riley's. I'll throw that opinion out there. I'd probably eat Violet's potato. If Violet Myers made me a potato, I would eat it. I am nervous about my steak just because I'm afraid that it might be a little overcooked. Overcooked? You think your steak is overcooked? You're looking at that piece of meat and going, yeah, that looks overcooked. Hit to these contestants out. What was the prerequisite for going on their show? Was it just having an OnlyFans? Can I make it OnlyFans and get on the next season? I, you know what? I'd love to do that. I would love to be on the next season of This Is Fire. If you guys would have me, I'd love it. But still, come on. What's going on here? This was a final for the books. This is what chef life is about. These two, I would hire them any day of the week. This was a final for the books? You'd hire these people? I would love to see what the other seasons have been like. I might have to binge watch this show just to find out if anybody any OnlyFans creator can actually cook. Guys, this is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. <laughs> Chef Riley, this is fire. Not only did you use enough seasoning on top of your steak, that's literally what it came down to, was using enough seasoning. It came down to the seasoning because neither of them cooked the steak right. Congratulations, you are This Is Fire champion and winner of $20,000. Violet, I am so sorry. You did amazing. Yes. The techniques and everything that you've implemented here on this show, I can't wait to come try your food on your food truck. Food truck? Okay, I can't, I don't know why I said that. I, I can't find anything about Violet Myers at a food truck at all. I see dump truck, but I don't think they're talking about a vehicle. 
Is that really what he said? Try your food on your food truck. Yeah, he said food truck, right? She, I don't see anything about her having a food truck. If anybody knows anything about a Violet Myers food truck, feel free to comment below. I can't find anything about a food truck. I learned so much from Chef Jojo and the whole experience, so I highly recommend everyone trying this. What do you mean everyone trying this? What, like people going on the OnlyFans cooking show or like, like what does she mean by that? I'm gonna try my championship winning tomahawk steak. Does the award even matter? Award winning in what sense? This show? Okay, I'll, I, I wanna see her eat this. This might be the highest my anticipation has ever been to see Riley Reed put a piece of meat in her mouth. Mm, wow. Oh, that's actually really good. You can stop looking at how raw that steak looks. Oh my God, come on, that's not cooked. There's no way that's cooked. I can see why this steak is a winner and I'm glad that I lost to Riley because I love her. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Riley, this is fire, honestly. <laughs> now we gotta try Violet's. I definitely know what he means by adding a little bit more salt. Hers is also pretty tasty. Fuck, this was a hard choice. I think that a lot of her flavor stayed on the outside and didn't go through all the way in. I'm so happy, I almost cried. I'm so you shot, let it out, you, I you have busted really nice your makeup ass. On. <laughs> what the hell did I just jack off to? And just like that, Riley Reed has earned another $20,000. Congratulations. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I think that's going to be it tonight. If you guys like this video, feel free to check out one of the other videos I got floating around up here. Think about subscribing, would you? Have a good one. I'm actually shitting myself right now. What the hell did I just jack off to?